Hello everybody, it's finally out! Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus! I've been waiting for this for quite a while. I'm excited. Uh, this isn't my first time playing, so the fact that this is episode one is a little bit of a lie. I did a five and a half hour stream last night. It might have been a little longer or a little less. I, I'm not sure at this moment. But if you're interested in watching my first experiences and the first few runs and, uh, for some reason, a successful run of the Purist Challenge. Uh, the VODs will be up over the next week or so, so keep an eye out for those. As for right now, we're gonna go- actually, let me just go ahead and show you in case you're not interested in watching the, uh, the streams. I have Back Ass Words completed and Pong completed over that stream. We still have three challenges to do. I will be doing these over the course of our gameplay over the next however long I decide to do this. And hopefully I will be able to get every single one of these things that I don't have unlocked here with you guys. And that's gonna be my goal. But you know what? We already have this character unlocked, Apollyon. We're, so we're gonna do this on hard mode. We have the chest completed. We have Mega Satan completed. And we have the cathedral completed. So what we need to do is we need to go for the dark room. And we also need to do Boss Rush and Hush, and we also need to do Mega Greed. Also, I don't remember having this item last time I played as Apollyon. So that's a little weird. I don't know what this item is. It looks like a familiar of some sort. It looks like a ball of bandages? So in some way? I don't know. Um, I could go straight for the boss. In fact, I probably shouldn't. I shouldn't. I should? I shouldn't. I should? I don't know. I don't know, it's a hard choice, but here I am, not going towards the boss. So the reason that I don't want to go towards the boss is mainly due to the fact that Apollyon starts with some very low damage. He, uh, he kind of makes Maggie look a little better than she normally does. He starts with one pip of damage, that's just three and a half, that's the, like the lowest damage that- Ooh, lucky poop. That is actually pretty, pretty darn good. Can get lots of money. But anyway, um, Apollyon is a very interesting character. He starts with the Void, and he starts with a whatever this stupid item I have next to me is. Hopefully we'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully we j I just completely screwed that up. Um, yeah, I have no idea what this item does. It's a Mimic! That's not even cool! This game has Mimics! Um, anyway, he starts with this Void item. This void item allows you to swallow items that are on a pedestal. So if there's an item that you don't want, you can swallow it with this void item. And what that'll do... I should open this chest. What that'll do... Ah, bo bollocks. What that'll do is it will... If it's an active item, it will give you that active item on your spacebar. And that'll stack. So you can have all the active items on your spacebar once you swallow it. Another thing that it does, is if you swallow a passive item... It will, uh, sorry, I'm kind of concentrating on keeping these things under control. If you swallow a passive item, it'll give you a random stat up. So right here we have the Book of Sin. Or the Satanic Bible. With reusable evil, which is great, because... We can use it, and then we can swallow it, which gives us a use immediately. You can see that I have an extra heart after doing that, and... Now, from, from now on, every time I use the void... It will give me that effect. So this is actually a pretty good start. I think we're gonna... We're gonna have a pretty solid chance of getting some deals with the devil. Because we're gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of protection for our, our red hearts. I was trying to push that towards him. Play a little bit of ping pong with our uh, bombs here. Well, that didn't feel good, but that somehow managed to kill him. That is the that is bomb's coins coin purse. Uh, I would like to swallow it with the void, but we're just gonna go ahead and take it because it's gonna take forever to get the six charges. Something's wrong. All right, let's take this one down. Oh, this could be amnesia or question mark, question mark. If it's either of those, it's gonna suck. I'm drowsy? I don't know what that does. 
All right, so I was hoping there would be a, something a little more substantial here. I would like to get either. Nope, not taking that. I would like to either get Boss Rush or the Hush on this run. Um, my time is not looking great. It took me way too long to find the item room. I got some bombs out of it, though. All right, so that actually saved me. I'm excited. What? I got some bombs out of it, though, and a spirit heart. Because I found one of these. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Also, we don't have any keys. So... Uh, since we don't have any keys, uh, we might not be able to get into the item room. If we can't get into the item room, then... That is going to be very, very heartbreaking. Especially... Especially if anything. I don't I don't know what the especially was going to be for initially, but... Uh, just not being able to go into the item room is always going to be heartbreaking. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It's just always going to suck. You don't ever want to not be able to go into the item room. I don't know what this item is. It's kind of disgusting. It looks like a... A dead blob of skin cells or something? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we finally got our key. Let's go in here. It's a bag of money. I'm just gonna go ahead and swallow this. I was hoping for... I was hoping for damage up, but we got luck instead. And we got, uh... Speed up. Which I guess is alright. We got Monstro here. Monster is going to be a little bit of a pain, but luckily, he's like, he's one of the most, he's, he's one of the first bosses that ever existed. He's one of the OG Isaac bosses. He's been around since days immemorial. He's been around for five years. He should have stripes. He should have medals. That was a little bit laggy. He's, he's got a little bit of a delay on his, uh, everything right now. What's going on? He's acting a little weird. What the heck? These bullets are going a little faster, too. Look at that. What's going on? Is something weird? This is... Oh my god. His bullets are flying so fast. Please tell me I'm not going crazy here. This is... This is abnormal, right? Right? Please tell me that was abnormal. I don't know what this toast is. But I'm gonna save it. Just in case. So let's go ahead and take this. I reward an empty vessel. Uh, that should give us the flight. Midnight snack. And that just took it away. So, great. Great. Great! Ah, uh, we need that empty vessel back. Uh... I'm excited. Did that just speed up? Did that speed up the monsters? I think that sped up the monsters. I have no idea what it actually did. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I probably shouldn't have come in here. I didn't realize that I still didn't have a key. Okay, so being excited is bad. It makes bullets go faster. It makes enemies go faster. But you do not move faster at all. Look at the speed of those bullets. I know that's abnormal. I've played way too much of this game. To like not have these bullet speeds memorized. Otherwise I'm crazy. And I know you crazy people in the comments are going to be like, No, no, Alex. That's exactly how it was the whole time. You know what? I'm onto your games. I'm onto your games. I know that that's abnormal. You can't fool me. I will, I will not be fooled. I don't know if that actually affects the whole floor or not. It's looking like it does because these guys are looking like they're moving a little bit of a faster rate than they normally do as well. So... Oh god. Oh why? Oh why? Why is this happening to me? Let's just do this. All right. Ah. 
Oh god, why? Oh god, why? Oh god, why? This is such a bad situation. <laughs> Alright, I'm hoping the curse room will have Guppy's head or something. Oh, cool, we got a book of spades, which is great. There's pills everywhere. Range down, that's not good. I'm gonna try to find the item room. I'm gonna get one more charge before I go into the curse room, just in case. I guess that's one way to, uh, get things killed. We got a key out of it, at least. Devil room? This is actually just what the doctor ordered. Paralysis. Alright, that's good. Go away, I'm excited. I do not want any of you. All right, so we get we have the I rewarded an empty vessel, which means if we have zero red hearts, we get to fly, which obviously is is, is it's good for reasons that I probably shouldn't even have to tell you about. But it's good because it lets me fly over these pits. And hopefully, it lets me kill things faster. Oh, it also gives me random invulnerability. I completely forgot about that part. So hopefully I can just swing this in such a way that it'll give me a nice, easy run. And I won't have to worry. Also, I don't have to worry about these guys spewing their blood everywhere. It's just, ugh. Ugh. Ooh, look at these. More keys. Alright. 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 Just chill out, guys. If I can get some plus damage, that'll be great. Except things aren't looking great. Let's go ahead and use this. I'll take the fish head. Um, we're gonna munch on that. Gives us an extra heart. And then I believe... God, I don't remember what the hourglass does. I don't remember if it's good or bad. So I'm gonna take steam sail. Now, if I get a decent amount of money, that'll be great. I'm not holding my breath, though. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. He's gonna sp spit out corn flies until he's dead. Getting lots of chests. Getting a decent amount of spirit hearts. But if we go too much longer without getting an actual, uh... If we go too long without getting an actual damage upgrade, things are going to start looking pretty bad for us and our chances of getting Boss Rush or the Hush achievement. So I, I am trying to rush a little bit, but at the same time, I'm going for a winning, a winning run, a victory. I'm going for a victory above all else. It's all about the win. It's all about the win. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. We have two directions to go. Oh, these guys have so much health. So, I guess I'm excited only lasts for a couple rooms. Maybe it's got a little bit of a timer on it, because these bullets are definitely normal again. Except these guys just take so long to kill, regardless. So my luck is not the best in this run. It's not the worst, though. I can still make this work. Especially if I swallow lots of things. I didn't even check to see what stats I got when I when I swallowed that fly. Ooh, there's a battery. I should not have gone in this room. Ah. Uh, so that was a fame that popped. a uh, little black circle that whenever it kills an enemy it has a higher chance than normal of dropping black hearts whenever you kill something with it. It's a very good effect to have. If you ever get hit with it, you just always need to make use of it as best as you can. Sweet. Another spirit heart to fill my day up. I really doubt we're going to get to boss rush.
Look at that. Look at all those black hearts. Come on, just just die, please. Just die. Just die, please. Just die, please. Just die, please. Thank you. Thank you. It took way entirely too way long. Alright, we have the Forsaken. This is an easy boss. Our damage still sucks, though. But with this Guppy's hairball and this invulnerability popping when it did, uh, <laughs> it could have been much worse. Could have been so much worse. So whatever this ball of meat that's following me is, it's actually it's saving me from a lot of bullets. And I'm very grateful for that. Uh, that looks like synth oil. Let's check on in here. Oh, we already got that. Uh, well, this was speed, right? No, it's damage and range. Great. Let's just go on to the next floor. I probably should have got that battery, but we're in a little bit of a hurry. We're not going to make it to the boss rush. We still have a chance to make it to Hush. Whether or not I actually am able to kill Hush, I don't know. That's a completely different story. However, we have decent items. We have decent damage. Things are going decently well. Except with this thing. These voids are the worst. Let's just drop that there. Hope for the best. I really need to kill this turret. Alright. Just doing damage to myself, no big deal. Alright, whatever this is, I have to touch it. Tarot cloth, I see the future. Dropped a card. I had to go back for it. It was the Hierophant. Good card, all things considered. Plus, uh, the Tarot Cloth gives us double effect on all of our cards. So you know what that means? That means four Spirit Hearts from this thing. That means our survivability is great right now. That means as long as we can make it to the Hush, we have a decent chance of it, of uh, actually winning. Um, prayer card. I'm not even going to consume that. Well, greed is not really what I wanted to see here. Not even a little bit. However, I was hoping to see maybe just one little piece of an item that I could swallow. Got him. Yeah, this is only Catacombs too. There's no way we're gonna make it to Mom within the 20 minute time limit. This character's hard at the beginning of the game. Mostly because you just don't really have enough uh, damage dealing potential to do enough damage to get you to the speed gates at a certain amount of time. Uh, Alright, got the invisibility. Invincibility. So we've got to make use of Guppy's hairball as much as we can. Bada bing, bada boom, what do we got? Binky. So tears up. It's always good. We're behind the times, man. Curse of the Unknown. I prefer Curse of the Unknown to uh, not being able to see what items I'm getting. I hate that curse so much. Uh. Let's just continue. Is this pin? We have to fight pin. We have to fight double pin. Triple pin. You think you got this pin? No. This is my domain. 
This is where they kill each other. This is where I just realized that I, I wasted a full bout of invulnerability. Got him. That was a really long... That was a really long pin fight. L really long room. This is gonna be a somewhat long room too. Oh, thanks for finally showing up. Got that spirit heart. There's a shop over there. We have 25 money. I mean, I guess piggy bank is okay. My goal is getting to hush. But I do want to donate to this guy. I want to get this back up to my uh, pre-greed mode unlock. Because you had to get... Oh, maybe not greed mode unlock. It was something that I unlocked for getting 999 coins in it. Then it exploded, dropped all of the money. Oh my god. Enough. Gotta make use of everything that I got. These rooms are so brutal. The portal rooms, they take- they take so long! They take so long to deal with. Lemon party? This is depths one, so I guess we'll take this to the boss. Wherever it is. Where is the boss? Have I even found the item room yet? I don't think I have. I haven't. I have not even found the item room yet. So we are going to have to backtrack. Maybe. Take it, Monstro. Come back into my- well, never mind. Oh! Monstro, you're being the worst! Alright, he's dead. He's dead. Ah, Krampus. Well, I'm not sure what I was gonna do about that. Alright, what do we got? Krampus' head. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna backtrack all the way to the item room. I don't know where it is. It's gonna take me forever to get there. All I want is this. I think I'm gonna have to start rushing through the womb. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start rushing regardless. I want to make it to Hush. That is my end game right now. We're gonna have to take Steven. It's not the best as far as damage goes, but I think we have enough hearts. Yeah, we're full. We have enough hearts to where we could just blast through this with little regard for our own safety doing things like this because of a fame it's gonna make things a little easier on us so I'm just gonna start sacrificing my health things are gonna be exploding left and right it's not a big deal. It's gonna be super simple. Got the invisible one. Does that mean he could just go through solid objects or... I forgot what the invisible... Yeah, he's definitely going through solid objects. Alright, come on. 
Come on. That was only the only one, right? Sissy long legs. I could swallow her. Really? All right, so I swallowed that. I got a heart out of it. Don't care about taking damage. Just got to get where I got to go. All right, here we are. We're at mom now. I'll go ahead and do this. And also... Ugh, I can't grab the Polaroid. Because if I grab the Polaroid, then I can't go to the dark room, and then we just don't unlock anything special. Alright, there we go. I kind of wanted you to do that on the rock, though. Alright, here we go. Put that there. We'll take the negative. I forgot what the effect is on the negative. Ah. But we gotta rush. We gotta go. Too bad I don't have a map. Curse of the blind. Gotta rush. Gotta go. Gotta go. Remember that old commercial? I forgot what the actual medicine was, but it was that, that fun little song. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. It was about people with, um... Tiny bladders, I guess. I guess that's that, what that commercial was for. This is not good. We're at six minutes remaining. We took a wrong turn there at the beginning. Let's try this direction, I guess. It was totally worth not having to waste time on a very large room. Come on, Dingles. Well, alright. I probably should be doing more of this. Yeah, there we go. I can do this. Grab the battery, do it again, grab the battery. It's not the right way. I'm leaving. All I want is to get to the boss, so I can get to the other boss, so I can- Ooh, here we go. This is good. This is an actual dingle. There we go. Die! No time for that. Mama Gertie! It's a good thing I can fly. Come on. Whoop. Too tanky for me. Ooh, black heart. I don't know what any of these are. HP up! Oh, crappers. Seriously? You didn't change? Oh, shit. This is actually really bad. I lost some time to that. I lost some time just because I can't fly now. I should have just eaten it with my void. Oh well, I guess you just live, you learn, and then, uh... You take lots of damage. I hope you don't die. Taking damage will help you do damage. And if that's the case, then you should take damage. Ah. 
Ah, garbage. No. Get the key. All right. Come on, you jerk. This is at least giving us a lot of black hearts. Here we go. Speed this up just a little bit. Get a black heart back out of it. How did he survive? Leaving. See you later. Wrong way! Oh, this is gonna be so bad. If it's the wrong way! Oh, it's totally the wrong way! Can we go this way? Yes, we can. Whoops. That is double damage that I didn't need to take. Pretty fly. Pin? Seriously? Right here? Right now? Oh my god! Please make it. Please make it. Oh yeah, it's white, because I... Wait, what? Just die. No guppy item. That's right, I can't fly right now. Really? Oh, no. I took literally the last possible... The last possible way to go. This sucks. This is really bad for me. And we don't get random invincibility either. Not anymore, anyway. And we don't have the... A well, Polaroid wouldn't matter anyway, I don't think. At least we have Guppy's hairball being a bro. So yeah, it looks like... Oh, we did make it. No deal with the double. Which is too bad, but looks like we're going to hush. We have 11 keys. Okay. This was our goal the whole time. Although... Tinted rock. Although I'm a little bit on the worried side. Because I haven't fought hush in quite a long time. We have a Bible here. Common cold, spider butt, Bob's brain. Since there is no battery in there, we're, I guess we're just going to take everything. Even Bob's brain. I guess we'll buy this bomb, buy a key too, we'll donate to the shop, because why not? So we made it in here by the skin of our teeth. We're gonna get Gimpy. Cause he has a chance to drop soul hearts on taking damage. We're gonna get the common cold for the poison damage. Cause the other one was a use item if I'm correct. And then we're just gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do here. It's not been too long since I fought Blue Baby. I fought him on stream. However, I am worried about Hush. Our damage is very low. If I remember right though, he scales to your damage. So it's not too bad. Nice, snailed the trajectory on that Bob's brain shot. And now it's just a matter of time. 
We get flies for taking damage. We have a possibility of, uh... There we go. We have a possibility of dropping soul hearts as we get hurt. Oh yeah, we also have, uh, Guppy's hairball. Which will block some shots for us. Hopefully, I don't rely on it too much. And we just take out Hush with... Oh, that was so scrubby. I basically ran into the bullets and got saved by the hairball. And this other thing that's blocking bullets for me. I mean, I have two things that are blocking bullets for me, so it's... Pretty positive situation, all things considered. Going into a bullet hell scenario. And the more bullets that Guppy's hairball blocks, I believe the bigger it gets, because it just... I guess it's, like, absorbing them? Come on, pop up. Alright, he's moving towards the middle now. There's a half a red heart on the ground. Not that that's gonna make any noticeable difference as far as survival goes. Since everything deals one damage here. Totally not gonna matter. Also, when he starts spamming the little guys, and as he does, like, puts on these fly shields, it's gonna be so frustrating for me. Because I don't have the damage to really deal with this. Bob's brain can do something if it blows up on the flies. Maybe he is spitting out a lot of flies. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a theme. So I could blow up these flies and just have some minor chance for about a billion red hearts. Not red hearts, black hearts. So that could be pretty good. Also, there's another... Uh, Red heart on the ground. That's not useful for me at all. There are way too many flies. I don't know where that... So Did that soul heart drop whenever I took that damage? I actually have a very tanky setup here. So it's very possible we're going to be able to get... Let's... Oh my god. Oh my god. We can just go ham here. We don't want to go too ham. But look at all these. See if we can find a spot. There we go. We don't want to go too incredibly ham on him. Because if I'm too careless, chances are still pretty good that I can die. Because you're not always guaranteed black hearts from the Athame effect, as you probably noticed there. Here, we're definitely going to take that chance. We're gonna do it again. What? Why'd you hide? I wasn't ready for you to hide. I believe this is the sweet spot. Nope. This is a sweet spot. I hope this is still a sweet spot. Totally is. Totally still is. Barely. These flies are making it a little bit tenuous. But we have the range to deal with it, so no big deal. There's so many red hearts on the ground. Where is it coming? Where are they coming from? Let's just get in our sweet spot here. Just keep unloading on them. Alright, Hush. You're reminding me of why I don't like fighting you. You're not the most fun thing to attack. You just take too long. Oh. I forgot about this part. And I, for I didn't realize it was slippery either. I think this is actually the first time that I realized that that's slippery. Alright, this is... This is the hard phase. Ugh. All right, we're safe here. Oh, yeah, we're safe here. <laughs> no big deal. Everything's 
Hunky dory, fine and dandy. I don't know what's blocking these shots. Oh, it, it's the guardian flies. Okay, you can stop that now, please. Just die already. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. He's going continuum again. But we have the range on him. He just went underground. Can you not? Please? Can you just not? There we go. Hushy has appeared in the basement. You unlocked the, the void. How do I get to the void? Do I go back? No. How do I get to the void? Ooh, I might. Oh, I, it broke. Um, how do I get to the void? How do I get there? Well, we're going to the. All right. Well, figured out how to get in, into the void. Well, it looks like we're exploring a brand new area on this episode. This is this is the basement. I wonder what awaits me in here. This is now the dark room. So I could just be fighting anything. Ooh, Degas. Why is it gotta be cursed the void? It's not even fair. I would love to be able to see the map. Does purity give me that ability? I, I can't remember, does purity remove curses? I don't really want to use it right now because I don't need to. I would like to save it for defense in the future, because you know I'll need it. We're about to fight a boss that we've never seen before, with damage that's not particularly impressive. We were able to handle the hush relatively easily, but that's because we know how to fight the hush. We know exactly what he's capable of, and we know exactly how to abuse a Thame to make it work. Also, there's a boss door already. We just somehow managed to go in the correct direction. Wait a minute, that's uh... That's two, two boss doors. Okay, we're taking algae's, I guess. We're also going to take this nod leaf. <laughs> really? I don't really want it swallow that. Seems like a bad idea. Let's go down here. Let's leave. And I guess let's check out the boss door? Okay, we're just fighting war. So I have to fight a bunch of fake bosses, I'm guessing. And by fake, I mean like, I don't know which one's the actual boss when I walk into the boss door room. So I just kind of have to check all the dead ends. And I get an item out of it. Is that Bobby Bomb? I don't remember. Yep. So let's go ahead and take this. And I guess fight the next boss. Delirium. Oh. Well, this is the real boss. Ah, ah. Whoa, you're teleporting? Oh, and the eyeball is still around. All right, cool. Oh, he's turning into a tiny little ghost. Oh, and he can teleport like that too? I don't think that's even fair. Mama Gertie. So he can just turn into everything.
Oh my god, he's so fast. I don't like teleporting. What? I don't like this boss. Like, teleporting on me like this just... Does not feel good. I'm taking damage from, like, things that I didn't even see. Also, the blue mom leg is kind of disgusting. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Burn this. Double monstro. I wish I had found another deal with the devil. Because then I could at least get rid of my one heart that I have left. Oh, thanks for teleport. Why am I running from you? I shouldn't be running from you. Alright, this is a new phase. I'm, I'm thinking we've entered another phase. Where'd you go? Pin? This rune is lasting a hell of a long time. Glad I went into that one curse room. This is chaotic! Oh my god. Oh! Al just ended. So, here's the thing. I'm totally not gonna survive this. Um, it was nice while it lasted. It was good knowing you. Uh, I regret not taking the Polaroid. Like, very much. I regret not taking that Polaroid. It just teleported almost on top of me again. There's bullets flying everywhere. My damage is incredibly low. I don't have very good items to be handling this. I got no batteries dropping. I got... I got very little working for me. That moves incredibly fast. Keeps turning into Mama Gertie. A boss that I'm not particularly good at fighting on the best of t best of days. Ah, keeps teleporting on top of me again. I mean, there is always a small chance that a Thamel proc, and I'll be able to kill something with it. What the hell? What just happened? I saw... Oh god, it's so fast. I saw the hint of a ladder down into the basement. Oh, well, there's a red heart, I guess. What was that? I don't know what's going on. Everything's exploding! Oh, it's Mama Gertie again. Okay, the deader it gets, the faster it gets. How am I not taking damage here? Ugh. Being saved. Ah, itchy nose. Bad time for that. Oh, God. Sick dodge! Sick dodge. Yeah, that's just- that is so not fair. Like, I'm typically not one for blaming games. I do it occasionally. I, I rage like everybody else does. But come on, that ain't even fair. That was jumping around so fast that I have, one, no time to react, two, the damage is just... Look at that. Look at that. Teleported right on top of me. The speed of that ghost is just... 
unreadable. Not that the little ghost does any damage, but still. And the monster is just teleporting on top of me like that? That's just disgusting. Just straight up disgusting. Ugh. I gotta- is this a bug? Or is this actually how this is supposed to go? I don't know. If you do know, let me know in the comment section below. I might actually just look it up. This is silly. But maybe if I had more damage, uh, I wouldn't still be here and we could have killed this already. There was a brief moment where I thought I was going to win. But of course my hopes became dashed. Well, um, so we discovered a new boss. We took a long time to kill Hush, at least. Whoop. I have one thing that I can say is that we got the hush mark on our uh, post-it note there. So that is actually good. So, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed the series. I'm gonna be keeping this going for the foreseeable future. I love me some Isaac, and I'm going to get every last achievement of this game again, as I always do. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye.